voltage amplifier. This is a basic circuit with a voltage amplifier. We're going to get the voltage that we're going to amplify connected to the gate. The source is connected to 0 volts and the drain is connected via this resistor to the positive supply. This is going to be where V out will come. The voltage at the gate is going to control the, uh, the current through the drain and the source. So the current going through this resistor. If the voltage at the gate, uh, across the gate and the source is less than the threshold, we're going to get no current flowing through this resistor. And because uh, the voltage at the drain is going to be the supply voltage minus the voltage across this resistor, and the voltage across the resistor is going to be I times R, that's going to be naught, means that we're going to end up with uh, the voltage supply here. So VGS is below the threshold, the voltage at the drain will be the supply voltage. As soon as we start to draw, uh, as soon as we go above the threshold, this voltage here, remember the uh, current against gate source voltage graph. So the current's going to increase, which means that this, uh, this bracket's going to increase, which means VD is going to start to fall. So as soon as we go above the threshold, the voltage drain starts to fall as VGS goes higher. Let's look at the dependence uh, between um, the current and VGS and work out the gain for this. Uh, so looking at this graph here, we've got a gradient of it is called the transconductance of the MOSFET. So it's just a characteristic of the MOSFET, as is the threshold. So we've got a formula uh, which we've seen on the characteristics video. The change in the current is going to be equal to transconductance times the change in gate source voltage. So it's just telling us about this part of the graph here, the gradient. Taking what we've got here for the uh, voltage at the drain, we can see that the voltage of the drain is the supply voltage minus the voltage lost across the resistor. And if we just uh, do this in terms of change, the change of uh, drain voltage is going to be the change in current multiplied by R. There's a minus sign because as the current goes up, the voltage at the drain goes down. So it's this part here. And we're going to substitute this into here. So we end up uh, with these terms here. Now, if we say that this is going to be V out, this is going to be V in comes out as this. The change in V out is equal to the change in V in times the transconductance times the resistance, but it's going to have a minus sign because as V in goes up, V out goes down, which this part of the slope shows here. And if we just divide both sides by um, change in V in, we end up with a gain formula, change in V out over change in V in, which is minus GM times R, and that will be what you get on the formula sheet. We're going to look at two practical ways in which we can do this uh, circuit. So uh, basically what we've got to do is we've got to get the input is going to go to the gate and the output is going to go, uh, going to come from the drain. We've got a capacitor here because uh, any bias here we want to be able to get rid of and we also want to add a bias here. We'll talk about biasing in a moment. So the capacitor blocks any DC um, signal from this side or this side. And same here, uh, the DC that we're going to get at the drain, um, the DC bias will be removed by this capacitor and the V-out will sit at 0 volts. So the first uh, form of bias we're going to do is just have a bias um, at the gate set by a voltage divider. So we're going to set a bias voltage here. And the bias voltage is going to be set um, in such a way that this is always going to be conducting. So uh, the gate with no input signal is going to be equal to the bias. And we set that so that uh, the voltage of the drain is going to be midway between the supply rails. So we set it somewhere about here, so that uh, as uh, V in goes up and V goes down, uh, we can get a large amplitude change in V out. So we call this the operating point, the voltage at the drain being somewhere between the uh, power supplies. Now let's have a look and see what happens if, uh, if we change V in. So if V in rises, uh, VGS is also going to rise and it's going to rise by the same amount, but we've got the bias set by the voltage divider um, raising it up. Now this means that the current going through this resistor is going to increase, and because the current uh, is going to be affecting the voltage at the drain, what happens here is that the voltage at the drain is going to fall. So if Vn goes up, Vg goes up, which means Vd goes down because the current is increased. And the change in Vd is going to be uh, carried through the capacitor but this DC bias for the drain is going to be blocked. So V in 
um, rises, Vg rises, which means Vg goes down and V out goes down. So we can see it's inverting and it's also amplified. So the formula here, we've got the minus sign shows that the output is uh, is going to be amplified. And the, um, the gradient of this slope here uh, is V out over Vn, or the change in V out over Vn, so that gives us the gradient as well. Second way to do uh, the bias on this is connect uh, a big resistor, something like 10 mega ohm resistor between the drain and the gate. What means what this means is that when there's no signal at the input, uh, the gate and the drain are going to be at the same voltage. This sets its own operating point. It's going to be somewhere midway between these. Uh, but again, because we've got a resistor here, they're not always going to sit at the same um, the same voltage. If V and rises, VG can rise as we can see on here, so VG is going to rise above whatever bias we got there. And it means that VD is then going to be able to fall. So we will, uh, um, all the time that VN is changing, we'll get the voltage across this resistor. So v, uh, the voltage of the drain falls. And we've got the capacitor here is going to remove the bias that we've got, the steady operating point voltage that we've got there. So this sits at 0 volts. So the output is going to oscillate around, um, around 0 volts rather so. There we go. Um, and this is exactly the same as when we had the uh, voltage divider. The advantage of this circuit is that this um, this circuit here sets its own operating point, uh, whereas previously we depended on both the uh, the threshold and the transconductance of the MOSFET to set whatever operating point we had there. So if anything changed, um, a slight variation in MOSFET uh, conditions, then the operating point could actually move to a position where it's completely unsuitable. We're going to get saturation one way or the other. And as before, uh, the gain is going to be the gradient in this graph here, changing V out over changing V in. And we've got the formula here, which is given on the formula sheet.